वेलकम टू माई फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ इकोनोमेट्रिक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इग्रेशन फंक्शन आई टुक एन एग्जाम्पल इन विच वी हैव टू प्रिडिक्ट वेदर स्टूडेंट्स फैमिली इनकम इज रिलेटेड टू हाउ वेल स्टूडेंट स्कोर इन द सैट एग्जाम आई ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ टू रीड द फॉलोइंग डेटा सेट नाउ दैट वी आर क्लियर विद हाउ टू रीड दिस डेटा सेट वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द एनालिसिस पार्ट वील स्टार्ट बाई प्लॉटिंग अ स्कैट डायग्राम Notice that the x-axis gives the independent variable. How to read this scatter diagram? For each level of annual family income, different students would be having different SAT scores. The yellow points are depicting the mean SAT scores. We draw a curve joining the mean points. The points connected with the line are the mean values of each income level. So, yellow dots depict the average score per income level. These yellow dots are formally called the conditional mean or conditional expected values. Since we have assumed that this data set represents the entire population of score values, the line connecting the conditional means is called as the population regression line. In short, PRL. So the PRL gives us the average or the mean value of the dependent variable that is the SAT score. Corresponding to each value of the independent variable, the annual family income in the population as a whole. With this information, let's go back to the table. We see that corresponding to an annual income of twenty-five thousand dollars, the average SAT score is four seventy-eight. Whereas corresponding to an average annual income of forty-five thousand dollars, the average SAT score is four ninety-six. In short, the PRL tells us how the mean or average value of Y. is related to each value of x in the whole population we now need a mathematical form to express the prl since prl is approximately linear we express it in the following functional form expected value of y given xi is equal to b1 plus b2 xi this is basically a mathematical equation of a straight line here expected value of y given xi means the mean Or expected value of y corresponding to or conditional upon a given value of x. The subscript i refers to the ith subpopulation. Thus, according to the table, the expected value of y given x i is equal to five thousand was four fifty two. The last row of the table gives the conditional mean value of y. Note that. expected value of y given xi is a function of xi this means that the dependence of y on x or the regression of y on x can be defined simply as the mean of distribution of y values which has the given x in other words the population regression line is a line that passes through the conditional means of y as explained in my earlier video here b1 and b2 are the parameters also known as the regression coefficients i'll just review the concept once b2 is the slope coefficient which measures the rate of change in the conditional mean of y per unit change in x so if b2 is equal to 0.001 it means that if the annual family income rises by 1 dollar the conditional mean value of sad score would be up by 0.001 points B1 is the intercept coefficient. It gives the mean value of y if x is equal to zero. This was the basic structure of population regression function. In my next video, I'll talk about the stochastic specification of the population regression function, in which we would introduce the error term. Thank you.